all living things create this energy field or force and it surrounds us, penetrates us and binds us. And the galaxy that we're talking is our being, our, our physical, mental and emotional being. But we know from this somatic approach for sure that you can't solve or heal a problem at the level of the problem. I think that was, I think that was Einstein who said that. So what we begin to do is begin to have a look at this expanded question of how can we change something that we don't know, you don't know, right? So we come to events like this and be able to have a different lens of looking at rather than a narrow focus, but being able to look at something that what happens with the extremities versus our core. Could the extremities, when we talk about the extremities and being a little more passive, that means the activation of the movement pattern proportionally changes from the leg and increases up and into the core. So I wanna talk a little bit more about that. So when we begin to talk about this active core and the relationship it has to the past passive extremities, we begin to get a sense of the shoulder girdle and the pelvic girdle. And it's the core is really everything within this rectangle. Here's the front and here's what's in the back. Now we think, and I, I include you too, right? You and I, we think about the body and the brain working as a cohesive whole, right? And when we do our movement practice, like, like an ATM or an FI lesson, when our movement practice, we've learned to ask ourselves and can direct others or um, we can focus ourselves in a way that we can change our awareness. We can go from a limb moving to a specific skeletal aspect. And we can do that with a sense of playfulness or seriousness, a lightness, heaviness. You know, we can notice how even our feelings can make us move. But Many people who were involved in a movement practice, they never end up feeling the wholeness of emotion that exists within a movement pattern. Many people, I'm going to say that again because I think that was important. Many people involved with a movement practice never end up feeling the wholeness of emotion that exists within the movement pattern because this is what gives rise to our function, all right?